G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines with the legend Alan Whitley and everyone of course knows the Whitley name. We're in the CW2150 and this is a boat that we have tested before for Fishing Monthly yep, yep. but it's got a pretty interesting bit of history behind it mate, run us through some of that. Yeah this is a boat that we designed originally um, with a company in Indonesia to actually have a machine gun up the front and we sent quite a fair few of them earlier on um, to the Indonesian government to protect the waters and the borders across there so uh, the walkthrough feature is, is quite a unique thing, to, uh, selling thing in a six and a half metre boat over here but also got a bit of interesting history there so yeah indeed now is it still an option can you get the 50 cal in front or what <laughs> certainly not for this country <laughs> now, it's a good story anyway so. it, it comes with the uh the four stroke the new generation yep, yamaha 154 150 four yep, stroke yep. as a boat manufacturer tell us the the difference between that old and the new motor they just get better and better don't they look it's certainly a lot lighter um which in this style of boat is a real benefit um and obviously a bit better mid-range and some stuff and fuel economy so that's what we're at today just having a bit of a test and uh, be interested to see, see your thoughts Steve once we get yeah back. look and, and I'm keen on this boat because I, I do like my fishing boats and this is it's very high side and this is Whitley's got a history of making cruises and making very comfortable cruises correct, correct. but this is this is a serious fishing boat just run us through some mm. of the the key features of this boat oh for us it's got a full self-draining deck which is a, a real uh, important uh, key feature to the fishermen really big uh, underfloor kill tanks um, nice big high-sided freeboard, um, but it's just a, it's just a big volume high-sided uh, fishing machine, I guess you'd say, um, and um, yeah, just a very popular boat for us in our range. Now, in this part of the world, we're down putting in at the uh, in the Pado River at the moment, heading out into Port mm -hmm, Phillip mm -hmm, Bay, and mm -hmm. we're at the time of year where this place is going to be a madhouse. Yeah, in another a few couple weeks. of weeks, so we'll be yeah. full with snapper fishermen. So how how like this sort of boat seems to be the if you want to own a boat in Melbourne, this is the sort of boat to own, isn't it? Like, how many of these boats are kicking around Melbourne? Like, as, as in these sort of five to seven metre snapper boats? There must be thousands and thousands. Oh, heaps, absolutely heaps. Um, very, very popular boat um, for Port Phillip Bay, obviously. Um, it draws its heritage from the original John Savage range of boats, which are very highly regarded uh, for Port Phillip Bay and that sort of stuff. So uh, it's been a very popular boat. It fits into our range. We actually built two six and a half metre fishing boats. Um, one's our stern drive powered SL22. And so we wanted to obviously have the 2150 to give our customers the option of the outboard as well. Uh, different hull generation as well, so it's a different, completely different hull from the ground up, but um, just good to give the customer the choice, I guess. So. Now, tell us, um, it's interesting for me, because I think a lot of our viewers are very, po they, they know their outboards, they've had outboards all their lives, mm -hmm. and that transition to stern drive is something you nearly have to get them across the line one customer at a time. But, but everyone I've spoken to that's bought a stern drive, they love them, mm -hmm. and they sort of won't go back. What sort of proportion do you sell outboards to stern drives? Oh, look, this particular boat is only available in an outboard, uh, but say something in our 22 where it is available in an outboard or a stern drive, we haven't actually produced the 22 with an outboard for five years now, so, wow, so popularity to stern drive, and also gives us our point of difference and uniqueness. Uh, we freely admit we're not going to get everyone on it, but um, to have the benefits of the freshwater cooling and an all aluminium block and that sort of stuff in our stern drives is a, is a real feature. Well, that's awesome. Well, the best thing we do and the thing we love doing at Fishing Monthly is getting these things out on the water for a test. I can see some squalls out there. Hopefully we get some <laughs> nasty fun. weather and put the, uh, the CW2150 through its paces. Well, you know what they say about Melbourne, if you don't like the weather, don't worry, it's going to change. And it did come in a little bit cloudy and a little bit rainy for the second half of this boat test where we got this uh, CW2150 out on the water. Now, initially, 
this thing gets right up on the plane quickly. Just over five seconds until that uh, new generation Yamaha 150 put this fella on the plane. Using a 17 inch Solus prop, it got its best fuel economy at four to 5,000 RPM, which is, uh, which is reasonably high, but it gave you 1.5 kilometers per liter of fuel burnt. Now, interestingly, if you put that right to the floor, it went 5,500 RPM, you got about seven or eight kilometers an hour more speed, so it maxed out at 65 kilometers an hour, but you only got one kilometer per liter of fuel burn. Now that's a saving of 33% by coming 500 RPM off the throttle, which is very interesting. Um, this is a serious fishing boat. Whitley have got a heritage of making great cruises. This is a serious fishing boat. Things like the, uh, the removable internal rear seats means if you're taking your mates out fishing for a day, you can get rid of all of those real creature comforts and turn this into a serious fishing boat. And of course, all of the other appointments are set up for serious fishing. Um, I like the fact that when you're driving this boat, it actually corners reasonably flat. It's a uh, very easy boat to drive. It's not that trim sensitive. Um, you get that sitting in that right cruising range and you're going to have some uh, great times out on the water. Of course, very sea capable, and this will be just at home at Port Phillip Bay as it is up in the Great Barrier Reef in Queensland or off somewhere in Western Australia. Um, it's the little things also in these Whitleys that make it, uh, the little things make the difference, like the retractable Fulton boat buckles on the back, make launching, retrieving this an ease. It's a, it's a drive on trailer, it's, um, it's just easy, and we like things that are easy. You can get home, you can hose it all down, it's all very easy to do. Now, make sure you check out Whitley's new website at whitleymarinegroup.com.au where they have great new interactive brochures and all of the information and specifications and also check out the write-up at Fishing Monthly Magazines. Uh, until next time, this is Steve Morgan checking out for Fishing Monthly Magazines here in lovely Melbourne.